This man is a real force. Drew McIntyre. A revamped attitude. A revamped appearance. The following contest is in a elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Batten down the hatches. Here comes the monster among men. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 385 pounds, Ron Strowman. The earth is trembling with each step. I would do anything not to get stuck inside the ring. to Balor Club. Making his way to the ring from Bray. County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! Oh man, the excitement level just went through the roof in this arena! One half a team extreme! The charismatic enigma about to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. And from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! and a surefire Hall of Famer. The human embodiment of the phrase, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. It does not get any bigger than Rey Mysterio. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. Oh, this 
This is gonna be good. And from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! Drew McIntyre returned to NXT and WWE with a newfound passion we'll see on display tonight. So impressive since coming back. Drew really values this second opportunity. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze oh, his man. opponents on a set of bagpipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. Call guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. He delivers a hard clothesline. Not looking good for Jeff Hardy there. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names, Cole. Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien Alma, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. He can't take much more of that. Ah, oh, jumpy DDT. All right. Ooh. Jeff Hardy forced into defensive. His shoulders are down. And Jeff Hardy forces his way out of the pin. He isn't going to go away that easy. predicament and the count's broken keeping the match alive it's not over yet oh my what a slam there's the chop This axe handle finds its target. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while chapter one didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a foreshadowing of his future success. Well, even Mr. McMahon himself called McIntyre a future world champion, which of course later came true in 2017 when McIntyre defeated Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. He's just so dominant. He's going for it all. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed. I 
I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Well, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. Oh, goodness! Jam your leg in a bad way. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and Aftershock DDT. There he goes, crashing to the floor. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Well, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and Aftershock DDT. Unpredictable, fearless, and never hesitant to sacrifice his own body to take down an opponent. Jeff Hardy embodies the spirit of Team Extreme. I've been lucky enough to spend a lot of time with the Hardys since they returned, and you even joined me for an exclusive interview on WWE Network. You can just tell by speaking with Jeff that his fearless nature comes from a spirit within him to be free. He goes for the cover. Never say die attitude out of him. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. I want to expand on what was said about Jeff Hardy being fearless. Jeff Hardy takes fear, crumbles it up with caution, and throws it all out the window when it's time to do battle. And then he becomes the charismatic enigma. All right, let's be totally honest. Jeff Hardy's a maniac. He loves chasing the thrill of the next adrenaline rush, whether it's in his motocross or in the ring. The higher the perch, the more spectacular the flight. The Irishman has his Irish up. Avoids trouble there. Finn Balor competed in his first match when he was 18 years old. Balor performed in Europe, and he look at Finn Balor making his moves. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. When Finn arrived in Japan, the Irishman survived the grueling dojo training system and formed his own faction, a club, if you will. In 2014, Balor changed the landscape of sports entertainment when he arrived in NXT. Finn Balor took... NXT by storm. The Irishman won the first Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic alongside Samoa Joe. Balor also became NXT Champion and exploded onto the Raw roster when he became the first WWE Universal Champion. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. To me, the most dangerous part of Finn Balor's coup de gras finisher is that Balor can crush an opponent with it from anywhere. Balor can fly from the top rope, the ring apron, heck, even off. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. He lands a jarring forearm. Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. It appears as though Finn Balor is beginning to lose Ooh. steam. Corey, what you talked about earlier is crucial for the success of the superstar's finish. Finn Balor destroys his opponents with a coup de grace and can do so in many ways. Here's Samoa Joe. Oh boy, he is rolling. 
And Braun Strowman's definitely doing what he can to get the psychological edge. Balor looking to end it. Oh, 1916. I'm not sure how much he has left. Corey Finn Balor's shoulder. Finn Balor is in position. 1916. That could be it, guys. Finn Balor going high risk. I don't recall the last time I saw him tossed around like that. Look out! He might be in the beginning stages of an assault. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's almost there. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Recognizing the game plan Corey devised, it's easier said than done to even catch Finn for long enough to apply that pressure to the shoulder. I would agree with the both of you. Any superstar that has an injury in their past will always have a bullseye on it. But they know that, and it becomes their job to defend against those attacks. Concentrating on the body here. There's the chop. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Running body press. Looks like Samoa Joe is fading a bit. He's trying. going for the pin. And there's the kick out by Samoa Joe. Not even close. His partner's calling for the tag. Yeah, he's not done yet. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. But he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet anyway. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Needless to say, Brian, when it comes to Braun Strowman, you're simply not going to overpower him. With that in mind, though, what should the approach be when facing the monster among men? Uh, let's see. Hope you get lucky? No, in all seriousness, if you're facing Braun Strowman, you'll need all the luck in the world just to survive, let alone win. Byron, I think you should fight Braun. I don't think so. To Byron's point about needing luck against Braun Strowman, I'd say Kalisto used more than a little luck when he handed Strowman a rare loss in a dumpster match. Kalisto was certainly lucky on that night, Cole, and while the record books will show a win for the King of Flight, in reality, I'd say he walked away a loser after Strowman's post-match obliteration of him. Oh, going to the top, high risk. Look at this. And the splash finds its mark. Oh boy, he is rolling. Now back to the ring. And once again, we see a return to this specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. What an incredible press. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. When this guy's on, look out. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. Braun Strowman gets the shoulder up. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. And here's Samoa Joe speaking his mind. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. How's that for ferocious? Looks like someone hit the repeat button for this move. He's struggling a bit here. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. A very crucial part in the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. He's going for it all. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Putting it all on the line. He's tossing it around like a toy here. Now that's a display of excellent ring awareness. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. This 
this is what makes him one of the best in the business. The man's connecting there with a good shot. Not sure how much more Strowman can take. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. I think this one's over. At this point, he has to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get back in this thing? Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Step DDT. The Miz is going to clinch it right here. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. Look at Samoa Joe just messing with his opponent's head right now. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Skull crushing finale! I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. Miz is as skilled on the microphone as he is in the ring. Oh, this isn't right. What are you, the police or something? I'm the thugs. Oh, how resilient was that? Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on. Ah. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. And off the tag is Finn Balor. Impact and then some. And now Finn Balor heads up. Two of you brought up the Miz on Talking Smack. Look, I like Daniel Bryan. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Coup de grace. Wow, what a move. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Digging deep for a kick out. He's not giving up that easy. And now he goes for it. This may very well be it. And Miz kicks out. Might have slipped there, Cole. Finn Balor is a superstar dedicated to giving back where he came from. Finn, Becky Lynch, and Sheamus' success in WWE helped trigger a growth in wrestling in Ireland. Ooh, what a slam! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Second time's a charm. There it comes. Nasty neck breaker right there. You know, Byron, in talking about Finn Balor, you brought up Becky Lynch. She actually trained as Finn's student. Says she owes her life to him. Just another example of how influential Finn Balor is. Everywhere Finn's been, he's improved and left it a better place. Ireland, England, Japan, NXT, and he wants to do the same now in WWE. And it's The Miz able to stop the count. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Super kick! Inching closer to it. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Jeff Hardy with a great shot. Ziggler is unstoppable when he's feeling it like this. And Finn Balor is larger than life. Ziggler with the famous serve. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Yeah, you know, the shoulders are down. Double axe handle. John Ziggler's going. There it is. The zigzag. This one is. He's got the shoulders down. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. And he hits the belly to belly. He's got him covered. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Barely. Hooked up. Using all his power to drive him to the man. Setting up for a neck breaker. And here's Ziggler showing some serious attitude. He's capable of turning it on, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fade fast. Here we go again. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Oh, there's the breaker. Perfectly 
time slam. Oh, my lord. Straight right. Good night. There he goes, crashing to the floor. An amazing match so far, guys, but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to get here soon. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, oh, what to the gut? I'll take the win right out of you. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Here goes Braun Strowman. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh my gosh, from what heights. This one's over, guys. Jeez, I felt that. This could do it. One, two, a kick out after one. Oh, it looks like the Daredevil wants to take a few more spills. Why not? Oh boy, he is rolling. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. Hellacious power slam. What a comeback. Two. Oh, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. So resilient. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Oh! The cover. One. Two. Three. Has been eliminated. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Not in Kansas anymore, folks. There's the Wizard of Oz. Hurricane Rana, and nobody does it better. Ziggler may be in trouble here, but we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Byron, knowing Rey Mysterio is a competitor the way that you do, what would you say a superstar must do in order to be successful against him? Well, rule number one when taking on Rey Mysterio, in my opinion, would be to stay away from the ropes. If you know Rey Mysterio, you know that the rope is where he executes a great deal of his offense. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Drop kick! Great athleticism. Finn Balor tags in. He has something big planned. And he lands the slam. Gentlemen, Rey Mysterio may be fading away here. He started this match in great health, but now it seems fatigue has set in. For a while there, it looked like he was going to take this match. It's amazing how quickly things can change here in the WWE. Wow, Finn Balor is being controlled. Oh, what's this? Finn Balor is in all kinds of trouble. He's making a statement here with this attack. Hoping to end it here. One, two, real close. Too close for cover. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Finn Balor going high risk. Incoming. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this. Here's the cover. Two. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I'm impressed. 
Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. Unleashing it for the second time now. And a brutal face buster. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. That slam put him in a bad way, guys. This is not where you want to be. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. Oh, man, Finn Balor is really feeling the pressure. Wow, Finn Balor is being controlled. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Finn Balor, big move coming. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. And now Finn Balor heads up. Wow, he's getting manhandled here. In WWE, there's as much chaos. There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Takes him down with a toss. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. There it is. Rey Mysterio just put the exclamation point on this match. Can he finish him off here? Rey Mysterio's... Look at this. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Drew McIntyre really needs... Gets the tag. This has been a battle. Chaos, melee. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. The clothesline finds the mark. It's obvious Joe is feeling the pain that's been dealt out so far. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. here. This is his opportunity to win this. Th Going for the cover. One, two. Clearly trying to take out the back here. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. The running senton. Crushing impact. Shoulder tackle does the job. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. 
And off the tag is Finn Balor. him with the knee. Look at Finn Balor making his moves. 19-16. Samoa Joe isn't looking so hot, guys. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? How did he do that? He's talked to his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look out! Three. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Going for an encore here. That should do it right there. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has suddenly shifted here, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He landed it. He may have discovered his favorite move. When this guy's on, look out. An insane German suplex. Oh boy, he is rolling. Well, Finn Balor is Irish, and they're known for their gift of gab. Three. Bringing it back between the ropes. Cross the shoulders up, and, and he hits the gut buster. Slam it got the shoulders down. Two gets the shoulder up loud. What's it going to take? I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Joe is in position. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. That has got to be it. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. Whoa! Oh, you don't see that. He's going for the pin. One, two. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow, I thought for sure that was it. Now it's time to capitalize. Shoulders on the mat. One, two. I thought that was it. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. That's the switch. Dolph Ziggler's in. Surprised as you guys are. Paul Ziggler strutting and yapping. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Look at that tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. Possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Wow, what a gritty performance. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, and it's a reversal. 
Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler with the famous serve. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left? Can he do it here? Sure, he even knows where he is. He has got to fight back. Dolph Ziggler's going for the tag. Ziggler has this match in hand. Yeah, here's a cover. One, two. Could have been it right there. Eliminated. Oh, look at this. Float over neck breaker. Picture perfect. Ziggler's going for it. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. From behind. And he hits a hellacious neck breaker. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Watch it. Miz. DDT, the Miz is gonna clinch it right here. But can he follow up here? And he lands the big boot. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Ziggler is unstoppable when he's feeling it like this. Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler with the famous serve. Game, set, match. This one is over. Sweet chin music. Here's his moment, Michael. The Miz's chances just... He can end it here. Two. Three. has been eliminated. Beautiful. He may have discovered his favorite move. The switch here to Drew McIntyre. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. No, he reverses it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy. Oh, what a headbutt. That should do it. McIntyre looking to end this. Wow! It's going to be over. Samoa Joe, we got a cover. Two. Three. Samoa Joe has been yes. eliminated. Unreal performance. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Here Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste Drew of the McIntyre, unbelievable kind. Ron